Hi. Um, so I got some new decks. Well, not new, but kind of new. I got the Masonic Tarot deck by JB, is what his thing says right there. It's by Gene Bionarch. Um, this is a out of print deck. I've been keeping an eye on it for a while. It keeps, it has like this really nice, kind of thick little white book. Um, I haven't dug into it yet, so I don't really know much about the deck. So I've been bonding with my deck. It wasn't even broken in when I got it. So I've been trying to like soften it up a little bit. Um, so how I usually like, like to bond with my decks, I like to wipe them down. Because this is like an old deck. Um, so some decks I have, they're like 60 years old. And so I usually like to wipe them down, like back and front. And then uh, just because it has like a lot of, yeah, 1989. So this is like what a uh, little over than 30 years old if that's right but so yeah I like to just shuffle like this where I could see the images and I just play around with it and that's how I usually like to bond with my decks and I like to clean them up um, but I've been really enjoying that and you know trying to remember what the cards are and what they look like before I dig into it but it's so pretty and I've been watching this deck for a while, um, never really pulled the trigger until now. And the reason why I didn't really want to get it was because like it's, it looks like it's stuck in the 80s for sure. It's definitely 80s drawings and um, I feel like it's, you know, it's an 80s deck of course. Um, but it's more than that. It's really nice. I love it. I love the length of it. I have large hands, um, but I love large, skinny decks. It's kind of the size of Tarot the Drowning Worlds. I think that'd be kind of fun to do a comparison with them. Um, but yeah, I've been playing with this deck a lot. And I love it. So here are the backs. I watched a few walkthroughs on this deck, um, and it's it's some, it has a lot of symbolism as you could see. Um, there's not much I could tell you now about it, but it's really cool. That's all I could say. The Empress and then ooh Emperor. really pretty I love look like having it laid out um, yeah she's my favorite I love her so let me lay some out so you can see what it looks like before I put it away pretty cool huh and I love like the ombre effect that it has Let's do some majors. Okay, I love the moon. The moon is cool. The hangman. The empress. The cups. Chariot's cool. I love the Queen of Cups, and I love how like the the Queen of Coins and the Queen of Swords, they both have their boobs out, and like they're very vulnerable. Um, but like the Queen of Wands, she has a jacket on, and the Queen of Cups is covered. There's the Queen of Swords. Um, I guess when I see like a queen of wands, I feel like she's the more crazy one. I would assume would be. See, she's wearing a jacket. <laughs> but it's cute. But she got some personality, so that works, right? Okay. And then another 
another deck that I got that I was never thinking I was going to ever get it. Um, it's the Golden Rider Tarot. This was sealed when I got it. And it's so pretty. I mean, I seen it on like, you know, the TV because I watch YouTube on my TV. And seeing it in person is just amazing. And the backs are beautiful. These are like the prettiest backs I've ever seen. Um, I really like the cardstock too. And I love the, the, you know, kind of that, that foiling. It's not foiling, but it's like that gold, it's glittery kind of. I'm not saying it right, but oh, I love the Eight of Cups. But it's really nice and pretty. Really happy I got it. I love the pinks in it. I love this Five of Cups. It's so detailed. I love this card too. Everything just pops. And I love this. Like the coloring is like fits the vibe of the meaning of the cards, I think. Like, I don't know, it's just like the feeling you get when you look at these cards and like when you look at Rider Waite Smith, like the original, it's kind of bland. This one has like a pop of color, so it's just it just does something to you. I don't know how to describe it, but it's the feeling and the vibe. She's so pretty. So I believe these are like originally oil paintings and yeah, I really love painted art and oil paintings, acrylic. I do love oil paintings more though. I think it's just fits, fits the tarot vibe, I think. Another deck that I got was the Universal Weight Tarot deck. I got this used, but it was like new, and so it's still crispy, and um, I still haven't broken it in yet. But I really like the images on this deck, too. I got it for 10 bucks on eBay, so that was kind of cool. Um... But yeah, definitely check out eBay if you want like a mass market deck and you want to see if it's cheaper. You could usually get like older editions on eBay for less than $15, I would say. You just gotta look and you could find some ones that you wanted but don't really want to pay the price for. That's usually what I like to do. But I really love the detailing. Um, I think everybody looks so beautiful in this in these these this art and how detailed and so I like this one because it's more like hand-drawn instead of the radiant weight and it's like more computer drawn or computer graphic designed and I like this one because it's more you know artistic and not artistic but it's just the more what I prefer I'm just rambling Eyes. I love how he's so detailed, the fool and page of cups. I love the page of cups. My son is a cancer. This is so detailed. She's beautiful. So is he. And then here are the backs. <clears throat> I got the I Am Artist Tarot by Saki Saki. This deck, I put it in order because I was going to do a walkthrough. Um, but I got sidetracked because I got other decks in. <laughs> so I'll just show you it right now. This is the second edition. Here are the backs. I prefer the first edition backs, but I haven't seen it with my eyes, so I don't know. I I like this edition too. 
And then it comes with like the chakras. I like how it says, I connect, I see, I express, I love, I do, I feel, I am. This is a nice way to look at the chakras. And then um, I don't have the book for it. So you could, there's like a little code thing to get the guidebook. Um, but this deck is cool. It makes me happy. These are some of the extra cards in it. And I love the cardstock. It's like papery, but it bends really well and it feels good and it's like soft and um, it just, it feels like it's going to last a long time, but it's bendable and flexible. The Empress is one of my favorite cards in this deck. I guess the Empress is like my favorite card in most decks. Um, I just connect with the Empress energy, I guess, as a mom. But... I love the temperance. I love the tower and the star. I'm trying to remember what network um, cartoon reminds me of. It's like they're outer space. Maybe you could help me. They're outer space people, but it's like kind of the style of a cartoon in a way. But it reminds me of that cartoon. And I cannot put my finger on what it is. I should have researched it before I did this, but I'm just kind of feeling like doing a video right now, so I'm just going to show you guys what's up. I love the Page of Cups. And you could obviously see this is like Rider Waite Smith based, but a little twist, so um, I wouldn't call it a clone because it's so unique in its own way, but it follows that system. So that's part of the reason why I didn't want to buy the, the guidebook. Um, but I want to look up the digital copy and just see her thoughts on her, her art, I guess. So it's really cool. And it shuffles really good. Let me just show you real quick how I mean. It's so bendable. beautiful. Okay. I got the Wild Unknown Animal Tarot. This is the indie version. I have the Mass Market. I have all Kim Kranz decks. I like to collect Kim Kranz decks too. And I like this little pamphlet it has because it just shows you like a quick keywords of what it means and then I guess it's like a everybody has a different artwork and I got the dragon so that's kind of cool um, so I really love the indie versions of Kim Cran's decks like not that the mass market ones are bad and they all pretty are similar but I just love the feeling of it like it just feels good and it's like a little bit more thicker and it just, I don't know, it's just the energy of the indie decks. I really love about Kim Cran's decks, so that's why I got it. And then my mass market one, I wrote all over it. So I know this deck pretty well, and then I wanted to get another copy, and I saw that it was like a good price. I paid indie price for this deck on eBay, and so I just got it. And then I also want to get the pocket edition of this deck because I like collecting her decks. So that's another thing about me is I love Kim Cran's work as well. She's one of my favorites. Okay, yeah, everyone knows what this deck looks like. And this one's not like the, you could see it has like that, you know, sheen. And this doesn't have the, you know, how the mass market one is. That one's kind of cool. And how the, um, you know, the spirit, the spirit ones with the symbol, how it has like the glitter or whatever on it. It's all sparkly, but this one, it's like a, like a sheen. It's nothing how the mass market one is. So it's pretty cool. And the reason why the girl sold it was because of this card. And I thought that was really cute. So she said she stuck it on the back of the deck. And then so as soon as I opened it, I noticed the tarantula and it kind of made me giggle because um, she couldn't use this deck because of the tarantula, so <laughs> pretty cute. She was nice. 
So decks that I've been working with a lot too um, is my trimmed version of my 1986 Thoth deck. I've been obsessed with this deck. And so I wrote an honest review on eBay and she actually refunded me. And I was really happy about that. Um, so I feel kind of bad in a way. Uh, but I was being honest. So that was really nice of her. And then so I revised my review because that's all she was worried about pretty much. So I was really happy to do that for her after she refunded me my money because I paid quite a bit for this deck and so I was really happy that she did that and yeah but then again you know everything happens for a reason I was really happy that that happened that situation happened for me and I got to trim this deck down and I just am in love with this deck so much um it's just really great I love the feeling of this card stock too it's a lot different um, from my other Thoth decks. She's beautiful. Okay, so another deck I've been working with is my Tarot Dean Jean Doddle Tarot by Cartogram. This deck looks good laid out. Let me just lay it out real quick. And then it's like that linen card stock. So it just feels so good in the hands. Um, I'll show you. And then I really love how it looks laid out. And I love the veds in it, like this one, how it really um, just pops. So I really like this deck a lot. And it had to grow on me too. Like I kind of didn't care for it when I first got it, but then I like played with it and I cannot stop shuffling it. And yeah, it just looks really beautiful laid out and leading with it. So it's a really good deck. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay, thank you. Bye.